it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Craft, independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today's project is this one. Um, this is one of my most favourite um, projects in that it is uh, time for my customer thank you gifts. And I love doing my thank you gifts. Um, it's one of my be greatest pleasures, um, finding nice little gifts for um, people who have shopped with, with me. Um, everyone who shops with me, be they uh, someone who spends, you know, hundreds of pounds with me each month or just a few pounds with me each month, they will all get the same uh, handmade gift and a handmade card. And then if they've used the hostess code, they get um, a share in the hostess rewards as well. So I've got lots to do. Um, I'm part way through. Uh, this is part of the ones I've still got to do. And I suddenly thought I could I could show you what I'm doing. Um, so these are some that I'm still preparing. Um, inside, I have got a real blast from the past um, and a crinkly packet, um, a bar of Turkish delight. Um, so I did a quick match with cardstock and I thought uh, this is either uh, Melon Mambo or Rich Razzleberry, so I'm doing half and half. Um, I've done most of the Rich Razzleberry, uh, but I've saved one to show you, and I've still got quite a lot of the um, Melon Mambo to do. So um, this uses the new, and I've left them over here again, the uh, Lots of Love box framelits. Um, which are in the spring summer catalog. Don't forget to look in there. There's lots of stuff in there to, to uh, get excited about. Um, these are made to make a box like this, um, which is obviously a larger box. And they take the um, tall, narrow note cards and envelopes which again are in the spring summer catalog and I stupidly didn't bring them over. Here we go. Um, so these are they. So these are the envelopes and these are the note cards, which are pre-scored. You get 20 in a pack. Um, so that's what this box is made for, but you will notice there's a bit of a bit of a difference. So I have to thank the, um, oh, now what she call herself? Kitchen Table Crafter. She's a, a fellow demo over in the US and I must thank her for um, working this out because it's genius, absolute genius. Um, but yes, table, Kitchen Table Crafter, Kitchen Top Crafter, one or the other, I think it's Kitchen Table Crafter. Um, so yes, this is an idea that I have cased from her um, because it is absolute genius. So what I've already done is um, cut one of these boxes or box fronts. Um, as you can see, there's lots of hearts and these are great because you can use them for either attaching a gift card or um, to make the little notch at the end of the, of the um, gift box. Um, but you're meant to cut two and then stick them together, which is how you get the large size. But what she's done is work out how to do a half size from just one. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. Um, and what was even better is that having worked out that that's what you can do, they fit a Turkish delight. Now I accept I don't eat chocolate, um, but I can remember the days when I enjoyed a bar of Turkish delight, um, terribly sweet, um, or certainly they used to be, and they used to be full of um, artificial colours, but now they're not. Um, so let me show you how this is done. Um, I don't need my donut mentionals at the moment, and yet they're in the middle of my desk. Right, I am going to grab the ink I need while I remember, because um, I've forgotten, and my scoring board, which was really what I was getting to get. Now I have to thank her for this little trick as well. So, scoring board in, and I'm just about got over the whole, let's have the camera flying around the room on the last time I used a scoreboard. Um, so she has come up with this great tip for um, a box buffer. This is just a strip of um, the card, the chipboard from um, the back of one of the packets of, I think it may have been foil. 
it may have been, I don't know what. Anyway, it's just packing. Um, and it happens to be about a sixteenth of an inch deep, which as this is an awkward, it measures uh, four and seven eighths from top to bottom, we need a sixteenth of an inch buffer. Um, so what she's t what she said is, if you put the green glue, uh, the multi-purpose glue, um, all the way down here and just leave it to dry, it becomes um, kind of tacky. Um, so you can just stick it in there. And as you saw, I took it from there. It's genius, absolutely genius. And it then makes that sixteenth of an inch difference, which is just what we need. So with our um, die cut in the top left hand corner, we're going to score at two and one quarter and two and three quarters. Now this is slightly narrower um, than this, but it's near enough, which is all that matters. Um, so that's all we need for that. The rest of the scoring has been done by the, um, by the, my brain has gone, die. Um, so all we now need to do is with bone folder, score all our, or burnish all our score lines. And this is, say, Rich Razzlebury. I've done it in Melon Mambo as well. And I'm going to decorate both of them in um, powder pink. Because I love the powder pink shimmer ribbon. Uh, what I'm going to do slightly differently on this version is rather than the powder pink at the back, I'm going to use uh, Melon Mambo. Um, because I suddenly realised, having got these all prepared, that the scrap from half a piece of A4 cardstock um, leaves you with lots of bits that you can punch. So really, I should have done them switching over, um, but I've done most of the um, Melon Mambo, well, I've prepped all of the Melon Mambo ones, and I kind of, you know, don't like the waste of that. I can always use the other scraps for other things. So, uh, having scored every, uh, burnished everything, I am going to do my usual cutting up to the score line. So there's that score line. So I'm cutting along this score line with the score line to the left, because this is the bit I'm going to flap in and therefore notch. So I'm going to cut away the, way, the ridge. Can you see there's a ridge here? Let me see if I can get the light on it. So there's this ridge and basically I'm cutting it away. So I cut to the outside of that ridge and then cut the ridge away. And you really only need to take the teeniest bit. Um, the first one I cut possibly a bit too much off. I mean, it's fine. Um, so yes. So. So I will have been filming this some days before you see it because obviously I don't want my customers to know what the gift is before they get it, if you saw what I mean, because that would be a shame. Um, but I need to prep them now, so I'm prepping them now. Fast Fuse, just on that little tab first, and then on this little tab here. And then, right, this is going to be the front. So the one without the rounded edge is going to be the front. So I want these flaps to go back. So. I'm going to come into the back with these. Yeah. So let's turn it over because it'd be slightly easier for me to do it. And this is where I say it's quite snug. So you don't want to come in too tight and pull this edge too far across. Um, because if you pull it too far, it will stick out a bit too much. Um, I don't know if you can see that it is just very, very fractionally this is just very fractionally wider than this. Uh, I'm not going to cut tr trim bits off or anything like that. It doesn't, it's not that tight. It's just a little bit tight. Um, right, now of course the light is dreadful. Fast fuse down the remaining flaps. And I say the light is dreadful because I'm now working within my own shadow for no other reason than that. I've actually opened up the skylight and there's not a bad day. Right, so this then wraps round to the back and 
again just tuck in the fast fuse that's coming over the edge. Now I have checked stocks and fast fuse is still not on the low inventory list so we're alright for the moment but that's as I film this which of course is some while ago so don't hold me to that. Um, our bar of chocolate in there and then pop the flap inside and there you are it's really snug it's great so punch we've got a little bit of punching to do and some stamping in fact we might do the stamping first um, so I've got a scrap here of just ordinary whisper white rich razzleberry ink and I'm using the a good day stamp set and I'm using the thank you so much stamp because that's what I'm saying I'm saying thank you so much so I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it down now in the cat oh let's do a better job of stamping shall we I'm supposed to be you know good at this that's not very good. I think this needs to be re-inked is part of the problem. It does. OK, let's move it round. And in fact, let's use the other side because cardstock fortunately has two sides. That's better. So that needs re-inking. So anyone who has seen my re-inker um, video, which I did earlier, a few days ago, don't know when because I don't know which order I'm doing them in, re-ink. Need to re-ink it. So that's that done finally. Now in the catalogue, um, you will find on the page, and I, do you know, I have a real problem finding the stamp set. I know it's on this side of the page, and had I prepared earlier, you know, because I do that, as we all know, um, I would have turned the corner down. But it's me. So yeah. Um, bum, bum, bum. Here we are. Right, so it's on page 14, this stamp set of your spring summer catalogue. Um, and above it, tucked up in the corner here, um, are two scallop circle punches. Now, this tells you that various punches fit various of the stamps. This one, which is the slightly larger one, claims that it will fit inside the one and three eighth scallop circle punch, which it will. But it also fits inside the one and a quarter inch circle punch, which means that one can very carefully, if you line it up carefully, so that's that. If you do that, you can then take a piece of gold foil and your one and three eighth inch circle punch and punch a scallop circle and then line one up on top of the other and it fits beautifully it's so pretty Ooh, and stuck to my finger so let's pop that on top of there and isn't that lovely perfect and I've got ink all over my hand which is even nicer right so for the back piece I'm using the pretty label punch which is a Ooh, that carried over from the autumn winter or was it in the annual oh dear I'm useless I am completely useless annual catalogue um, punches 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 there we are punches so if it's not on the page with the punches it'll be on the autumn winter no it was new in the annual catalogue so there we are um, so you may have this um, ooh, this straight would be novel wouldn't it I think I might have... No, I've stuck it too well. Oh well, one of my customers is going to get a slightly skew whiff um, sentiment on the front of their card. Uh, box, rather. Haven't done the cards yet. They're probably next on my list. So that's that. And then I'm also using some of the gold metallic shapes. I suddenly found I have masses of sheets of gold and almost no sheets of silver. So it's time to use up some gold. And what better time than to adorn my customer thank you gifts. So I'm having a heart and a circle because I love my customers. Right, now the thing that is always dreadful to do on camera is to tie a bow around your box. So I've got the 
powder pink shimmer ribbon which is from the annual catalogue um, and all I'm going to do is tie a nice little bow around the top um, it's going to be at 90 degrees to the box and I've tried tying it a bazillion and one times and you know what it's going to be at 90 degrees to the box um, I could have done a like a little loop up but I wanted a bow so I'm having a bow and it's just going to be at 90 degrees to the box so that's that and then I just need a couple of dimensionals and we are there so remember we're still during we're still in celebration this is the front um, so there's all those lovely oh, nearly put it on the wrong way up uh, there's all those lovely goodies still to get free free we like free um, and you can order from the annual catalogue you can order from the spring summer catalogue um, you can order from the clearance rack if you want um, but so long as you spend 45 pounds or a multiple thereof you get free celebration items um, so i would say fill your boots um, because it's free and we all like free so there we are um, so i've got a few more to finish making um, but a nice little box and thank you again to the kitchen table crafter stamper whichever um, for the idea on cutting the box down without cutting the box down um, I hope you enjoyed that if you did thumbs up um, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel that's in the bottom right hand corner if you don't subscribe to my mailing list pop over to my blog the link to that for this for this um, post is immediately below in the information bar um, if you click on there and go down to the very bottom you need to be on the web version of my blog you'll find there's a sign up form for my newsletter um, that goes out at least once a month but I'm trying to do it twice a month with all sorts of updates um, I've got a new uh, Old Stables Crafty Hangout um, which is just a forum for all crafty people um, so there'll be details of that um, and anyone can join and it's for knitters it's for sewers it's for stampers it's for scrapbookers it's for whatever so long as it's craft brilliant um and members can sign up members so it's it's open forum although it's you need to know that it's there you can i think you can find it it's, it's a closed group so it's not secret you can find it but you need to request to be a member and any member can invite any member and add any member so um, we've already got people from New Zealand um, and I think we've got people from other parts of Europe, all sorts. Anyway, so do sign up to my newsletter, do join the um, Old Stables Crafty Hangout um, and I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.